All right, you guys, so like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He repping life music. Make sure y'all following us on social media, on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash Ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. I'm going to go to, uh, go to Outback in a second. Hold on. I got to grab some out of here. Uh, oh, salute everybody. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Appreciate everybody that's watching this video, man. Much love, honor, and respect to all of you guys that's tapped in today. Sorry for the background noise, y'all. I'm out here about moving out and about and i had to drop this breaking news story for you guys now uh, apparently according to uh shine uh, shine has come out uh we all know that shine is not in the streets no more he is a politician uh he is a a a, a, a man of his country in Belize, and he has completely turned and changed his life and turned his life around uh now shine uh, for some of you young guys who don't know he was involved uh, his name was involved in a shooting that happened uh, in a nightclub uh, that involved other people that was in the club. Sean was infamously signed a bad boy, and uh, he was at the club that night with P. Diddy and other people like Jennifer Lopez. And uh, in the club that night, there was a shooting. There was a woman who was shot in the face, and this woman, uh, you know, ended up testifying from the beginning that, you know, Sean uh wasn't the one who shot her it was you know somebody else who we all know that's on your screen that she claims that shot her and she has claimed this multiple times sean pled his innocence during the trial uh he pled his innocence yeah y'all y'all go over there i'm coming back give me give me like 10 minutes i'm going uh he pled his innocence in the in the uh in the trial he pled his innocence this sean and he said that he did not uh you know, shoot anybody. Now, Shine did not give up any names then, and he hasn't given up any names now to this date. He hasn't given up any names. They tried to press him and ask him, was it, uh, you know, P. Diddy who did the shooting? Shine refused to say that P. Diddy did anything. He refused to speak about it, refused to speak out about the situation, and refused to say that it was P. Diddy who uh, fired shots in that club that night. Now, Sean, uh, you know, did a uh, interview uh, in which he said that basically he said he's always stated, even before he was locked up, he's always stated that he did not shoot anybody. Uh, nor did Sean point anybody out and say that, you know, somebody else did the shooting or point to who did the shooting. Sean has maintained that he didn't do the shooting. And so now, since he is maintaining that he didn't do the shooting, People are trying to jam Shine up and to saying that he oh is out and, or snitching on P. Diddy when that's not the case. Him and Puff had different lawyers. Shine was fighting his case. Shine said that he did not shoot that lady that night in that club. And a lot of people feeling a way about what he said. Uh, and they're putting words into his mouth when he did not say uh, that, you know, Puff, uh, you know, pulled the trigger. He did not say that. The only thing Sean said was, is I didn't do it. Now, the lady who was involved in the case, she is accusing Puff of doing it, not Sean. And so it's appalling to me how so many people are getting on Sean when Sean said that other political leaders tried to use this against him when he was running, saying that he was the one who shot this person in the club. And he is saying, look, man, until this day, I maintain my innocence until this day. And he says, I continue to maintain my innocence in that situation. I did not do that. But y'all know people don't care. So what people are doing is they're using this to attack Sean Poe. Uh, they're using this to uh, basically, uh, you know, say Sean is out and did he. Now, um, I'm going to let you guys hear what Sean had to say. Now, the lady who was involved. Uh, she told the homie Art of Dialogue that, uh, you know, it was Diddy who popped her. 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, or she told somebody, I can't remember, but Art of Dialogue had posted it on his social media. Shout out to Art. But a while back, uh, in February, he posted this, what the woman said. Now, the woman said that, not Shine. Now, Shine has come out now and spoken on this, and this is what Shine had to say. Let you guys hear it. Hold on. I don't know why I can't. What is the most remarkable? Oh, you didn't see that? I saw it. Okay. And that was triggered by a lawsuit from a producer that produced on the Love album who is making accusations. And in those accusations, he says that the gentleman confessed to the shooting. And that is what stands out to me the most because, you know, I've done my best to put it behind me and to move forward. Uh, and so... Um, but it certainly reopens the wounds that I've been saying this all along. Everyone knew all along that I was the fall guy. Um, but my political enemies and, you know, detractors tried to make me into, you know, this criminal. Um, but everyone knew that I was a young kid that took the fall. Everyone knew that that was the story uh, for all the years. So until I got... Forth, I never really pointed the finger at Yes, but what, so what I'm saying is that was a decision that I made as a young man and i'm not saying i'm not going back on that i'm not about to point the finger no i'm not going to get into that well i was not doing it sir i'm just saying that i maintain my innocence all this time i said i was defending myself i didn't get into who did what um but the victim is telling you who did what and another i i understand that there are other witnesses is she, is she accurate sir i'm not going to get into that but it does open wounds and um Certainly, I am relieved that uh, people are saying what the truth is, that, you know, I did not uh, shoot um, those people. So is this is what Sean had to say. So, Sean basically, you know what I'm saying, was asked these questions. Sean says, and he did. I mean, from day one, Sean maintained his innocence. He went to trial, uh, pleaded innocent, said he didn't do it, didn't point the finger at anybody. Uh, but ended up doing a decade. You understand what I'm saying? Now, to the brother who said, oh, when does Sean sound like this? Brother, Sean is down near 50 years old, and he lives in Belize. You understand? He's always had an accent. You understand what I'm saying? If you heard him ever talk, he's had an accent. You understand? So Sean's Belize accent has always been like that. So to the brother in the comments, I should say, oh, when Sean start talking like this? Sean been talking like that, brother. You don't know how Sean talks? When you hear him talk, Sean has been talking like that. You understand, you understand what I'm saying? Um, no, sir, the bet is not good. Giannis Antetokounmpo's hurt. The bet is off, Mr. Mass. I don't want to hear anything else about it. bet is off. The bet is not good. Stop coming to my channel talking about something else. We're not talking about that. Sit down, bro. The bet is off. We already had a bet. We put the rules and stipulations in place. The man is injured. The bet is off. Leave my channel if you don't believe otherwise. So anyways, let me get back to what I was saying to you guys, right? Um, before I was interrupted by a shit stain. Um, so, uh, yeah, P. Diddy, you know, listen, man, Sean did not point out P. Diddy, you know what I mean? Uh, he did not point out Puff in this situation. Um, Sean, you know, basically just said that he didn't do it. He said that from the start since he went to prison. Sean said he didn't do it. So, I mean, listen, the only thing he's doing now is saying that, look, I didn't do it. He said the same thing before. And when they tried to ask him, to jam up Puff, he refused to do it. He said, I ain't going to speak about that. Even now that he's not in the streets, even now that he's out of the, the, the street life and he's in a political world where he can say he completely changed his life around, he still won't, um, you know, throw Puff under the bus and say, hey, man, he did it. Sean is saying, look, the people are saying I didn't do it, and this is what I've been telling y'all. You know what I mean? How can you get mad at Sean you know what I'm saying? For that, you know? Um, how can you get mad at Sean for that? When that's what's going on. And I'm just being honest with you guys. That's what's going on, and, and I'm just being real with y'all. Uh, you know? And so everybody got to understand what's going on with the situation, man. You know? Everybody got to understand. So Sean basically came out. 
And basically, everybody's running with what he said, lying on the man, saying that, oh, yeah, he said P. Diddy, man, Shine didn't even say P. Diddy's name. When they asked Shine if P. Diddy did it, he said, I'm not even speaking on that. He said, I'm telling y'all what I said the whole time when y'all been out here telling me that I did something I didn't do. And Sean said that he was a fall guy. Now, again, Sean had to feel a way to be sitting up in prison for damn near a decade if he didn't pop that woman. And the crazy part is, is even from the trial, the woman said Sean didn't do it. So the woman said Sean didn't do it, and he still went to prison for a decade. Think about that. Think about that. Think about that. Sean went to prison for a decade. A decade. And the woman, you know, has been saying from the beginning that, you know, Sean did not do this. That was the craziest part of this entire situation is that that happened. You know what I mean? And so the fact that that happened, man, that, uh, you know, um, Sean, uh, you know, went through that type of situation, bro. And I'm just telling y'all, man, and no, somebody said, does this make Sean a snitch? How is he a snitch? The man, P. Diddy went and got separate cases, separate uh, judge, uh, excuse me, lawyers for the trial. P. Diddy got separate lawyers for the trial. Right. He did not want to. He did not have the same lawyer or the same representation as Shine. He separated himself from Shine, which helped Shine in the long run get convicted. See, people forget this part of it. What P. Diddy did was help Shine get convicted because of how he dealt with his end of the whole situation. You know what I'm saying? By basically, you know, his representation, you know, uh, throwing Shine under the bus in that whole situation. Shine went to prison, never snitched on Puff. Never pointed out Puff. None of this stuff. He, he went to trial and, and, and pled not guilty. And he did a whole bid. And he never, ever, ever came out and said, nah, it was Puff. He never snitched. <laughs> and so now, even to this day, you got people on YouTube putting out fake news saying, hey, Shine out here snitching on Puff. He is not. All he said was, I maintain what I said in court, that it wasn't me. And all you political leaders came out here and tried to destroy me. You understand what I'm saying? You political leaders tried to destroy me based off those allegations. And I told you I didn't do that. So you got to remember, not only did Sean, uh, you know, go to prison, Sean got deported for that. He got deported for that. That is how he ended up changing his life. Now, it may have been the best for him, because of the path that he was on, that he had to, you know what I'm saying, go through that to get out of the streets. And because Sean probably wouldn't have made it all these years had he would have stayed in the streets the way he was moving. You know what I mean? Because he was really on that. But and that might have saved God might have set him down to save his life. You know what I mean? But the man said from the beginning, he never did, he never did that. And he took the fall for it. So now, and then like I said, they asked him again. Was it Puff who, who they asked him and said, yo, was it Puff who did it? And he refused to give up Puff's name. But you got dudes on YouTube saying, yeah, man, Shine in here. He told on Puff, man. When he tell on Puff? When he told on Puff? It opens um, when you hear, um, you know, the victim saying that it was did it. So he was asked a question. He asked. He was asked a question about the shooting. And he says, look, man, it opens up wounds when the victims say, you know what I'm saying, it was somebody else, but y'all always saying it's me. All y'all persecuted me. I went to prison there 10 years. I did a whole bid. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. So, but somehow he's asked this question about this situation. And now people say he's snitching when he refused to point out Puff. Let's, let's listen. See that? Okay. And um, that was triggered by a lawsuit from a producer that produced on the Love album who is making accusations and in those accusations he says that the gentleman confessed to the shooting and that is what stands out to me the most because you know I've done my best to put it behind me and to move forward uh, and so um, 
but it certainly reopens the wounds that I've been saying this all along. Everyone knew all along that I was the fall guy. Um, but my political enemies and, you know, detractors tried to make me into, you know, this criminal. Um, but everyone knew that I was a young kid that took the fall. Everyone knew. So he's saying he was a young kid that took the fall. He was innocent. But he never pointed out who he said did it. Now, they asked him. They said, hey, Sean, did Puff, was Puff the shooter? Was Puff the one that did it? And he said, I ain't going to answer that, man. I'm not finna get into that. And this is now, uh, remember, this is not Sean Poe that was in the streets rapping Sean Poe. You understand what I'm saying? White Air Force Ones, rubber money and rubber bands, America's number one man, racing through the city, me and P. Diddy. Nah, he ain't rapping that no more. You understand what I'm saying? His whole life have changed. So technically, you know what I'm saying? He could go a different route and people could not call him that because he completely changed his life around, but he still didn't. And I respect the fact that he didn't go that route. He won't even t say, hey, yeah, man, this guy did it, or that guy did it. He won't even say that. I respect that. He just said, look, bro, I'm telling y'all from what I said from the beginning in court, I didn't do it. See what I'm saying? I didn't do it. I, I don't know who did it. These people out here telling y'all that I didn't do it. When y'all said I did this, and I went, and remember, when Pete, when Puff went and got the lawyers, separate lawyers, separate cases, separate lawyers. He didn't put them in his Cody, separate lawyers, so that Puff could get off, along with old girl out that situation. That is what screwed Shine in that whole case, and it basically threw Shine under the bus, and he ended up doing a decade in the bang because of it. Meanwhile, Puff walked free. Didn't do a day. But Sean never snitched while he was in prison. He did interviews. He never said, hey, man, Puff did this. He never pointed no fingers. You understand what I'm saying? And so dudes talking about some, oh, he got to play his position. What do you mean? His position, he was rapping. If I'm a rapper, we go somewhere and somebody get popped. I'm not your muscle. So what you mean I got to play my position to this dude in the comments? Say, see, you're not making no sense. You're not making no sense. You talking about some shine got to play, play his position. What you mean? He got to play his position. He wasn't a muscle. He wasn't security. He was a rapper that was on a label, bro. So for you to say play your position, now he got to do a bid because of something else somebody else don't want to stand tall on? the hell out of here man shine gotta do a bid for that he ain't even a muscle or the security he was a rapper you understand what i'm saying so and then he did play his position right he went to court he ain't snitch on puff nobody else he said i'm innocent he got found guilty he did a bid never snitch came home while all this time puff is still free right and you got other people coming out here talking about some Puff did it now, the people that was in the club. And they still want to talk about shine? Nigga, imagine you doing 10 years, 12 years in the bing, and somebody calling you a snitch, you ain't telling nobody. Picture that. Then you come out of prison and you get deported. You know what I'm saying? And the only reason why you get back is because you changed your life, became a congressman, and then some dude want to act like he want to help you when you come back. Get out of here, bro. Nobody want to hear that, man. You know what I mean? You said, why he talking now? First of all, Sean is, brother, Sean is damn near 50 years old. He's a grown-ass man. He's a politician. His whole life have changed. He's not even in the streets or a street cat no more. This dude is in the political game. He is a, uh, a serviceman of his country, brother. You understand what I'm saying? And so... He's been asked these questions by his contemporaries and other people who tried to attack him when he was running for office for his country. And so he just maintained his innocence the entire time. He never pointed out Puff and said, hey, yeah, man, Puff is your man. He the one that did it. He never said that. He's just saying, look, man, people are saying that I didn't do this now, and I've been told y'all I didn't do it. 
You know what I'm saying? But if you go back and you remember that trial, it was almost like the way Puff handled it, it threw Shine completely under the bus. You understand? It wasn't about protecting him. or the, It was about putting it on him and protecting the other chick that was with him. That's the part y'all got to understand, man. And so they specifically asked Shine, like, yo, Shine, you know, did you have something to do with this? And Shine was like, what did Shine say? When they asked Sean, he was like, did Puff have something to do with this? He said, man, I ain't talking about that. That's exactly what he said. That that was the story uh, for all the years. Yeah, until I got forward, I never really pointed the finger at Yes, but what, so what I'm saying is that was a decision that I made as a young man. And I'm not saying, I'm not going back on that. I'm not about to point the finger. No, I'm not going to get into that. Well, I was not doing it, sir. I'm just saying that I... Maintain my innocence all this time. I said I See, would. he said, I'm not going to point the finger. I'm not going to do none of that. I just maintain my innocence all this time. Now, mind you, Shine is talking in a political atmosphere where he have all these people asking him questions in a press conference about this situation with Puff. And he still won't throw Puff under the bus. But you guys are upset at Shine because that man said I'm innocent and y'all tried to attack me. And he's been saying this from day one in court. But you upset with Shine? What you want him to say? I'm guilty. I did this. That's what you want him to say? But the girl herself is out here pointing out Puff. But you mad at Sean. Make that make sense. The girl is out here pointing out Puff. But you mad at Sean. It, it don't add up. It don't add up. And that's the type of stuff I'm trying to tell y'all this. I'm trying to tell you, that man did a bid in prison. Didn't open his mouth, didn't snitch. He get to get out of prison. You know what I'm saying? And now people saying all this other stuff, man. Shine did say he was framed. What do you say? You said Shine didn't say he was framed. He did say he was framed, bro. What are you talking about? Bro, we know the truth. You're, you, you know a lie, brother. You are a liar. The first thing he said was he was framed, brother. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? He said he was the fall guy. That means you're framed, sir. What the hell do you think the fall guy is? What, what, what do you think the fall guy is? When you're a fall guy, that means you're framed. Get, get, your, get your mind right, bro. You, you didn't listen? Let me play it for you again. Because I know y'all don't listen. Um, when you hear, um, you know, the victim saying that it was Diddy. That shot her. That is what is the most remarkable. Oh, you didn't see that? I saw it. Okay. And that was triggered by a lawsuit from a producer that produced on the Love album who is making accusations. And in those accusations, he says that the gentleman confessed to the shooting. And that is what stands out to me the most because, you know, I've done my best to put it behind me and to move forward. Uh, and so, um, but it certainly reopens the wounds that I've been saying this all along. Everyone knew all along that I was the fall guy. There you go. I was the fall guy. So what are you talking about, bro? Tell me, he ain't say that. He just told you. Keep going. And, you know, detractors tried to make me into, you know, this criminal. Um, but everyone knew that I was a young kid that took the fall. Everyone knew that that was the story. Uh, for all the years, so until I got forward, I never really pointed the finger at Yes, but what, so what I'm saying is that was a decision that I made as a young man. And I'm not saying, I'm not going back on that. I'm not about to point the finger. No, I'm not going to get into that. Well, I was not doing it, sir. I'm just saying that I maintain my innocence all this time. I said I was defending myself. I didn't get into who did. Yeah, he just said, I did not, I'm not pointing the finger. I'm not doing none of that. I just maintain my innocence. That's all he said from day one when he went to court by himself because they separated the attorneys. They separated the Puff got the cases separated. And he had to maintain and fight the shit on his own. He had to get his own attorneys. Remember this. You signed a bad boy. You in there with Puff. Shit go down. And this man, you got to go get your own attorneys now. Right? But, but you take the fall for all of this shit. But you'll never snitch.
You never pointed them out. You took your time. You went to prison. Period. You came out. You changed your life. You turned it around. And then what happened? Then what happened, y'all? Once you came out, you turned your life around. You know what happens? Now you get into the political world and everybody uses your past against you and says you are you 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 are a menace to society and all this other stuff when you maintain your innocence from day one. So now they're asking him about all this stuff that's going on with Pete Diddy. He's like, look, bro, I told y'all from day one when I went to prison and all y'all's up here attacking me, I was innocent. I didn't do anything wrong. And they said, Well, what about P. Diddy? Well, I'm not pointing no fingers. He says, I'm not getting into that. Um, but the victim is telling you who did what. And another, I, I understand that there are other witnesses. Is she, is she accurate, sir? I'm not going to get into that. Right. They, he said, is she accurate? And what did he say? I ain't going to get into that. So that he ain't snitching on throwing nobody under the bus. Period. You said, did Sean take any money? No. What are you talking about? Did he take any money? Sean didn't get any money. All Sean did was when he came out, Sean got a record deal. Sean got a record deal with L.A. Reid when he came out of prison. So what are you talking about? Did he take money? Do you not remember the interview Sean did when he was in prison, when Diddy didn't do shit for him, when he was rotting in prison? So we know the truth. You must know a bunch of lies, brother, because I lived through this. I remember the whole case. I remember the whole case. So cut the cut the foolishness, brother. I remember the whole case. Right? Sean was a stand-up dude. He did he did a whole bid and never snitched. Never snitched. Ne in court, never snitched. Never brought up P. Diddy's name. Never snitched. Never said Puff did this. Never snitched. Right? And Puff left him hanging to dry in that case. These is facts. You said I'm feeling some type of way. Oh, Cuz, bro, I don't like that shit you pushing, brother. I don't like the stuff you pushing, man. Ain't no man gonna go to prison for over 10 years. Never snitch. Never point out nobody. Even after the, the way the shit down went, went down with the cases and the lawyers. He come out, changed his life. Damn near 50 years old. He's a, 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 a congressman and, and, a, and a man for his country. That's completely turned his life around and still refused to snitch on Puff. And people out here talking about some, oh, man, because he's shine, man. Nah, I don't want to hear that, brother. I don't want to hear that, man. I don't want to hear that, brother. Man, ain't throw that man under the... And then they asked him straight up, did Puff have to... He said, I ain't getting into none of that. Exactly what he said. It does open wounds. And um, certainly, I am relieved that uh, people are saying what the truth is. That, you know, I did not uh, shoot um, those people. Thank you that I did not shoot those people. Thank you, bro. So that's all Sean been saying is that, look, bro, I didn't do this. You know what I'm saying? The stuff they said I did, I didn't do. That's what he said from day one. That's what he said for day one. You know what I mean? Straight up. So, again, you guys, I mean... I don't know what else to tell y'all, man. Be honest with y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? If you don't get that, I just don't understand you. You know? So, but I got to go, y'all. Uh, man, y'all smash the like button. Share this video, man. Make sure y'all share this video, man. Share this video, man. Hit that like button, man. Let's get those likes up, man. Let's try to get around 1,000 likes in this video, man. Hit that like button for your boy, man. Like button is free. And y'all subscribe to the podcast show. The link to that will be pinned at the top of the comment section as well. But salute to everybody, man. Much love to y'all, man. Much respect to y'all. Y'all, y'all, let me know what y'all feel on this. Go. On.